NVIDIA CEO concedes cutting-edge DGX frameworks require fluid cooling, and the new frameworks are just around the corner. NVIDIA's cutting-edge DGX servers will have fluid cooling, per remarks from NVIDIA CEO Jensen Huang at the 2024 SIEPR, monetary highest point. In the middle between saying the forthcoming framework was, quote, heavenly and wonderful, unquote, Huang likewise referenced the following DGX servers are, quote, before long coming, unquote. Showing that maybe NVIDIA's up and coming age of illustrations cards is not too far off as well. First, thank you so much for tuning into today's video. If you found the content helpful and insightful, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and turn on the notification bell so you never miss out on our latest finance tips and insights. Your support means the world to us, and we're thrilled to have you as part of the finance savvy community. By subscribing, you not only stay updated with our upcoming videos but also contribute to the growth of our channel. If you have any questions, comments, or suggestions for future topics, feel free to drop them in the comment section below. We love hearing from our viewers. Thanks again for being with us. Stay financially savvy, and we look forward to seeing you in the next video. Don't forget to subscribe, and have a fantastic day. Now, back to the article. Mr. Huang's remarks weren't totally clear, and he didn't unequivocally refer to anything about DGX. All things considered, during a talk about the force of current GPUs and artificial intelligence processors, he expressed, quote, one of our PCs, and the following one, before long coming, is fluid cooled, unquote. Since in NVIDIA's only setup of artificial intelligence-centered PCs is the DGX, it's likely protected to say Wong is alluding to DGX, or if nothing else, that is the take of some IT industry examiners. Servers, even those in huge and state-of-the-art data centers, actually depend principally on air cooling for central processors and GPUs, including the ongoing age DGX. Indeed, even NVIDIA's top-of-the-line H100 and H200 designs cards function admirably sufficient under air cooling, so the stimulus to change to fluid hasn't been just perfect. Notwithstanding, as NVIDIA's impending Blackwell GPUs are said by Dell to polish off up to 1,000 watts, fluid cooling might be required. Cases of Blackwell drawing 1,400 watts have likewise been tossed around. 2,000 watt processors could try and be inside the domain of plausibility, as Intel specialists are endeavoring to plan a fluid cooler that can deal with that much intensity. For quite a long time, processors have been getting more blazing and more eager for power, and to move that pattern along the business should put resources into state-of-the-art cooling arrangements. This is all in light of a legitimate concern for helping execution. However, not every person is dazzled by TDP's four digits in length. Industry investigator Patrick Moorhead was especially searing about the possibility of a fluid-cooled DGX, saying, quote, So we've pulled practically every switch such a long way to improve execution at a somewhat healthy level of intensity slash power. What straight away, fluid nitrogen? Unquote. Moorhead proposed hitting, quote, the reset button, unquote, and suggested coordinating this innovation just wouldn't be manageable. In lieu, there presumably must be where power can at this point not be expanded to support execution. However, power utilization has consistently expanded from one age to another. Ten years prior, 300 watts was thought of as lovely exorbitant, and presently the best quality computer chips and GPUs effectively outperform that figure. Further increments to drive don't appear to be disappearing anytime soon, for however long there could be no more excellent method for helping execution dependably. Again, Thank you so much for tuning into today's video. If you found the content helpful and insightful, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and turn on the notification bell so you never miss out on our latest finance tips and insights. Your support means the world to us, and we're thrilled to have you as part of the finance savvy community. By subscribing, you not only stay updated with our upcoming videos, but also contribute to the growth of our channel. If you have any questions, comments, or suggestions for future topics, feel free to drop them in the comment section below. We love hearing from our viewers. Thanks again for being with us. Stay financially savvy, and we look forward to seeing you in the next video. Don't forget to subscribe, and have a fantastic day.